Hey guys, what's up? This video we're going to be going over how to find the perfect cost per click for every single product depending on your profit margin, cost of goods, etc. This clip is actually drawn from the Music Chess course. Um, it goes over how I find the perfect cost per click when it comes to Music Chess and I go over the analytics and everything. So, hope you guys enjoy that. If you want to actually watch more videos just like that, you know, basically the same thing you guys been watching but for another second store, so you sort of get a second perspective as well as a bit more in depth, you get a bit more information. You definitely learn things that I probably forgot to bring up on Bomber and Company. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the description below. It's insanely cheap, it's a steal of a deal. You know, I'm already giving away a course, so like if you guys want to take it to the next level, spend that small amount and basically get a more detailed look of Google Shopping. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. Alright, guys, so we're gonna figure out the best class max CPC. So right now I set it at 30 cent and as a result it's not getting much impression. Yes, because I had to, these are the old optimized um, sort of titles and I had to re-optimize it. Let's refresh it, let's see if, if it's changed. Nope, it's still the old ones. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and change the effective max CPC. So let's figure it out. I'm selling the product for forty dollars. Let's increase the font to like this. I'm selling that's the product. Um, the cost of goods, roughly, it is like around maybe seven dollar shipped max. But I'm just gonna overshoot it to take profit margin would be roughly around $33. Now, if I want to liquidate and I just want to break even, then I could just have a cost per purchase at twenty thirty-three dollars each. Now I'm going to get an average, let's find my average conversion rate. So let's go to analytics. So this is, I'm breaking down all the stats and like breaking it down how you guys want to do it. Let's go, last 90 days, apply. This is all organic, we don't run any ads at all on this store. This is organic 2.1k, um, 2.1k just off of our Instagram, YouTube, it's just all organic, zero Facebook ads. But it looks like we have a small conversion rate of like 0.74%. Conversion All right. zero point seven four percent. And remember, this conversion rate is for like low quality traffic. The traffic you get on Google Shopping are people who are looking to purchase something, so the conversion rate is going to be much higher. But let's say we shoot it and we low ball the conversion rate. So that means if we have $33 and we have a conversion rate of 0.74%, this would give us the cost, the max, oh, perfect, max cost per click. So the max cost per click we can afford is 24 cent. And as you can see, we set it at 30 cent, so we should be good. Let's say the conversion rate's actually like maybe I'm going to say it's 3%, just knowing that it's Google Shopping traffic. Is it going to calculate it? So I could actually shoot the cost per click all the way up to 99 cent. If the 3% conversion rate holds and yields, then I should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it at 30 cent for now. And then after all the titles optimized with the new titles, I'm going to see if I get any sales, if any sales come in, then I'm going to see the conversion rate then, and then I'm going to slowly bump it up to a dollar and that's how I'm going to scale it out. So this is how you find your cost per click. So eventually, if things run slow, I'm going to hit it, bring it up to a dollar maximum. If I believe that the conversion rate could be as big as 4%, then I might even upgrade it to one dollar and 32 cent and to know your conversion rate what you want to do is just look at 
your clicks to conversions. So right now I got three clicks and zero conversions. So based on the clicks to conversions, I'm gonna find out the average ratio and then I can manage the maximum cost per click. On top of that, what you can do when you scale will be having an individual cost per click for each product because each product has its own stats, has its own conversion rates, blah, 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 blah. And that's how you scale out Google Shopping. Peace. All right, that was it. As you can see, it was stripped and it was basically, I show everything, you know, I show all the products, I show the cost per clicks, I show the impression, like I show everything. So if you want to sort of get more videos just like that, where I do the exact same thing through music chairs, I show you guys all the products, you know, I show you guys all the different cost per clicks I have, I show you guys the sales I get on music chess when I set up Google Shopping for it. Um, check out the course below, it's hella cheap, it's a steal of a deal. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it that low of a price, um, so you guys gotta jump on it as soon as possible. But my goal is just to over provide in value and give you guys a course for free, and then you guys could choose to check that out if you guys want.